Hey nesters, welcome back to Nesting Haven. Today we are heading back to Goodwill to see what we can find for some vintage treasures and things I can resell or add to my own collection. So let's go ahead and see what Goodwill had today. The first thing I saw that I really was happy to find was this beautiful divided California pottery dish here with the handle. Now California pottery is made by several different companies. It basically just indicates that it was made in California. So you know, you really have to do your research to find out the maker. It's not necessarily all made by the same company. I've been finding a lot of this old school decoupage stuff lately. This one, I'm not sure what the little boy's doing. I think he's trying to doctor his dog there. He has his dog wrapped up in a blanket. Looks like he's trying to pour him some medicine, so I'm guessing he's just playing doctor. I thought these little boats here were kind of cute. They're put up by Hall. You can see I almost missed this here. I got really excited when I saw it. Now, I wasn't sure if I could make it work, but I wanted to pick this up because I have kind of a vintage looking kitchen. If you guys saw my last video, I did a vintage recipes video and you guys can get a glimpse of what my kitchen looks like. But I wanna put this over the stove uh, light, over the stove, and I think I can rig it up to make it work. It has a really nice vintage look to it. I love the yellow florals on it. It was only $3. I had a little bit of chipping along the edge, but it wasn't too serious. I think I can make it work. I hope I can make it work. I love that this had a needlepoint look to it. I thought that was really neat. You guys know I like to collect needlepoint and cruel items. I'm starting to see the milk glass show back up in the thrift store. There was a good run there where I wasn't finding it at all.
I love decorating in florals on my own wall. So when I saw these, I thought they were a cute little set here. And I did pick these up. I'm going to be putting them in my Wednesday night live sale. So if you happen to be interested in them, be sure to check that out at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. Right here on YouTube. I thought this little bunny set here looked kind of vintage. I was surprised to see a huge candle mess inside of it. It's meant to be a planter, I believe. I've never seen it, you know, used as a candle holder before, but that was kind of interesting. This little turkey I had seen a couple weeks ago when I was there and I passed on it, but it's still catching my eye. I think it's really neat. And Thanksgiving stuff, you know, decor is kind of hard to come by. And this one's a nice, bright, colorful turkey. So this item here I was pretty excited to find because I've always done really well selling Noah's Ark items. I like that it had the little hatch drop down door there, it had a full bag of animals to go along with it, and they also had some kind of a battery feature on the bottom. I'm not sure if the battery part of it works, so I did pick this up, I'm going to test it out and see what it actually does, if it's just making sound. I don't imagine it's going to move, it's just like a solid ceramic, you know, boat, but I, I'm guessing it probably makes some kind of a sound. So I'm excited to try that out and I'm, you know, we'll see how it does, I think it'll do pretty good. I know Avon is not for everybody, but I think their bottles are so fascinating. I always enjoy seeing them when I do. I've never come across this one before.
I saw this neat looking tin down here. I just thought it looked really cool. And when I picked it up, I was surprised to see it's actually a music box inside of it. I'd never seen that before. I thought that was really neat. It was a nice surprise for sure. So it had amazing graphics around the whole piece there, different on every side. And yeah, I thought that was really cool. So it's been two weeks since I last saw this Blanco vase here for $25. It's still sitting there. If it goes half price, if it's still there on Yellow Tag Day at half price, I'll probably snag it up and give it a try. But yeah, I guess no one else wants to pay $25 bucks for it either. How gorgeous is this? I spied this in the back and I got super excited. It ended up being a wall pocket. Only $4. I think it was well worth it. And of course I picked that up. <laughs> They have been slowly getting some Halloween stuff out. I hardly ever see it. It seems like Goodwill always hoards it until Halloween gets here. So I've been surprised to find at least one piece every time I've gone lately. I was happy to find this giant jack-o'-lantern here. He was only priced $5. He was huge. He was heavy. You should have seen me in the store. I had him in my little cart there and I was struggling trying to put more stuff in my cart. I had to keep moving him around. I started putting him on the top, you know, where you set your kid or your purse or whatever. And that seemed to work. I didn't want to crush any of my other stuff, so... Yeah. <laughs> it was cool, but it was a struggle for sure, shopping with him. This was so funny to see here because two weeks ago I picked up another piece that was just the pansy florals that goes with this. So I'm slowly starting to find the set. I believe it originally came in three pieces so who knows maybe in another couple weeks I'll find the other piece. <laughs> 
that is going to do it for today's thrift along with me. Come back tomorrow to see part two of this thrifting trip. I'll take you over to the handpick section where they keep a lot of the more vintage and antique stuff in tomorrow's video and show you some more of my other finds. So I hope you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give this video a like and we'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Bye.